Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I'm actually on location. I'm at the lake, not too far from my house. I wanted to share this energy with you today. We're going to channel and get some inspiration from the lake. She is... She is the soft and gentle beauty of a warm tub filled with water. I am comforted by her as she surrounds me. She invites me to slip in. Yet I am not prepared at all to enter her waters. Instead, I stand on the shoreline and I watch mesmerized as the wind tickles the top of the surface, rippling, moving, caressing, amplifying the energy of the vibrancy and the vitality of life itself. All of my senses are alive because of her. The lake. She is divine feminine. She is divine woman. She is embodied in her fullness. In her fullest expression, she knows who she is and who she is not. The depths of her only revealed to those who are brave enough to journey in deep inside. She will protect you in her womb. She will encompass and enfold you and create a sacred space for you like none other. This is the lake. Feel the rhythm of the water as it flows and moves. Sometimes she is rough. She is purposeful and with intention. She will rock the sandy shore of the beach. And she will pull whatever is there in toward her center. When she is in need, when she wants the connection. Are you brave enough? Are you released enough? Can you let go enough to allow her presence to fully engulf you? Are you afraid of her power, her ferocity? Does it scare you? Does she scare you? Does she remind you of parts of yourself that are in darkness, in the depths of your soul, in the ache of the pain of your womb? Does she remind you of the wound? Does her promise of pure love and fullness seem impossible to you? The lake. She is vast. She is effervescent. She is ascended. A God is chosen to be held on earth through the element of water defined only by what you see and more so feel is she cold is she warm is she smooth is she rough what relationship will you have with this beautiful element this goddess lake energy. The earth and all of her natural beauty and her her surroundings, the trees, the rocks, the plants, the sky and the clouds, the water and the rain, the fire in the night. All of these elements light up your way. They are here to support you and surround you with 
what is needed for your spirit energetically to thrive in your human life experience. The express expression of life is in part for you to awaken your senses. What sensory needs do you have? What do you hold back or keep away from that you want or need to know in this lifetime? These are big questions, but the lake she asks you to know yourself deeper, broader, more expanded, limitless, boundless, uninhibited in your knowing, embodied by trust. These are the messages and the wisdom of the lake. So this is Bridget. I recognize that this divine feminine energy is quite powerful and it is profound. And I am recording the Sunday morning coffee episode on the fall equinox, which is a connection for me to the essence of who I am in this embodiment of my lifetime, which is a woman. And I feel the connection to the lake today as I am out walking on a nature walk. And I wanted to embody and share that with you and feel all the essence of her energy, of this element of water, which is commonly associated with the heart. Water for many is commonly associated with emotion. Water is a tool for the empath. And that, my friend, is exactly what you are. And all of the ways in all of the phases, in all of the cycles of life. In this one here at the autumn equinox, at the beginning of the fall, you are invited to recognize your natural nature surroundings, just as though you have been accessing your human surroundings and all of the inputs and the sensory overloads and all the overwhelm of all the heart stuff you've been feeling. You are invited now <coughs> to feel it with intention, feel it the nature of things, the nature of things, <coughs> the green, lush foliage, the trees as they're turning into the autumn colors, just the tips right now are yellow and golds, just starting to get a little bit of orange and red, just tiny little tips for the gentle, natural transition of the change process as you shift into this new part of your life. No big boisterous entrance, no parades, no fanfare, no intensity is required or needed here just to be recognizing and connecting to your natural nature surroundings, connecting to the elements, connecting to the sky, noticing the sky, the clouds, noticing if there's wind on your face, watching the trees dance and move and sway as the leaves softly catch air and gently, ever so gently, float to the ground, to touch the earth at home, to return home to the home base of the earth. That is what this is about. The returning home, the connection of the support that you have all around you, not through people, through presence, through the essence of the energy of nature, of your natural surroundings. Empath, hear me now. Tap in to the natural surroundings. Feel the energy here right now. I'm sitting at the lake. It is very calm and still today. And it is still moving. The wind is causing ripples to move through. And beautiful patterns. And a sweet rhythm. And the sun is beaming down, acknowledging the light element, the element of light. So we have earth. We have air. We have water, 
We have light. And we also have fire. The element of fire is at the core of your being, your solar plexus, your spirit. For many of us, the energy in the solar plexus is your spirit, your intuition that is guiding you, navigating for you. This is the part of you that is so mysterious that you want to trust, you want to be in relationship with, but sometimes you find it hard to be. That's normal. That's natural. So use the elements. Start with the senses, the sensory inputs of nature. Notice the color. Notice the feeling of the wind. Notice the feeling of the earth as you walk. Notice through your physical senses so that energetically your essence can be rejuvenated and recharged with energy that's positive and pure. Nature, natural, pure. Nature, natural, pure. The divine feminine energy of that fire, that solar plexus is held and supported for you right here and right now. (laughs) And as I am recording this, you will hear a boat go flying through the scene. Looks like a fishing boat. Do you hear the motor? What is this metaphor or symbolism? There will be disruption. There will be distraction. You know it. You know it. It doesn't have to wreck your focus or change your energy. We allow it. Allow others to flow and move and go about their business. And then notice the ripples of the water. She's not upset. The lake is not angry. She provides a safe passage for the boat to move through. She is not responsible for the journey or the thoughts or the feelings of the boat occupants or of the vessel itself. She just provides the space so that the people, the machine can move through safe passage. Allow yourself to take in with intention nature and natural energy of light of water, of air, of earth, of fire. Light a candle to connect with that fire energy. We could have a whole conversation about fire. We should do a Sunday morning coffee about fire. Have you listened to the Shakti Sunday morning coffee? Check that one out. That's a little fiery. And in the beginning of this Sunday morning coffee, when I was channeling with the lake energy, the balancing factor, the alignment factor is the fire with the water. They are both divine feminine energy. They are both connected and united. They're both different aspects and attributes of you as a person. They are nurturing, loving, and supportive of your life experience. And they have very different uses in many different ways. And they're for you, all of it. Nature exists for you. The clouds in the sky are for you. The wind in the trees, it's for you. The waves on the water, the sound of the waves hitting the shore, that's for you. It's all for you. So let's take a nice breath in. Big exhale out. Thank you so much for listening to this Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you continue to feel this inspired energy throughout the transition and change of this fall season.